Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Estancia Lopacho here in Paraguay. Today I am just racing, ooh, very clumsily almost completely demolishing the side of our pickup on the uh, the bank right there. So it's not really the way to go. Um, I'm just going, I'm driving up round to the top of the plateau. We're going to go all the way round to the point where we would be doing most of the work so that I can show you with the weekly question because we haven't actually been up there and taken a look at what I was thinking of doing. So I, I figure that we ought to do that just so that you can see what the plan is before I actually ask you properly about the weekly question. I mean, the weekly question is, do you want me to start doing some work up here? Do you want me to cut down a load of trees up on the top of the plateau? Bring, we'll probably we'll bring some of the logs down and we'll have a go with the train and the crane and everything down here so we can sort of just have a play around with it. We're not going to do very much because it's exactly the same as is on all the other maps. So we have kind of seen it already. Um, but we'll have a little go with it. We can have a bit of a play around. And then the the big plan would be is whether or not we actually turn some of this land up here into actual farmland. Now, what is the easiest way to get up here? We, we can sort of go up there. It's a bit steep here at the top. Is That little bit there is is a little bit steep to get through. We, we, we can sort of do it. But there's a great big dip right there, which does make life a lot more difficult. I mean, we can come over here. And we can head up that bit there. So it is entirely possible to get up here. So we would cut down a load of these trees and we would take the timber away. We've also got some of the uh, different sorts of trees up here as well. We've got uh, some small ones there. And we'll cut, down, we'll cut down a load of trees here on this edge here. And then plough it all up and turn it into grass. It would probably be grass because, I mean, you look at the, the quality of the land here and how uneven it is, it would be very difficult to do crops. We could do crops. I'm not saying that we couldn't do it, but we would probably have to use, like, the small combine in order to do it because the big combines just wouldn't be able to get around here properly. I think, there would, I think we would have some serious issues. But I'm kind of liking the idea of doing all the way around over to here, all the way up this end, possibly leaving this very end piece because, I mean, it does get quite narrow here, so we could sort of leave some of that and turn turn it all into at, at least a grass field maybe we could do crops here and we could use a small equipment i don't really know but i mean the question this week we will decide what we do up here if you actually want me to so you may decide that this is too far we should just leave this as it is pristine undisturbed wilderness um kind of like a nature reserve that we got going here and and just leave it we don't want to be we don't want to be sort of demolishing and farming absolutely everything we do want to leave some of it just in its natural state because it is beautiful to come up here and take a look at so it's your vote it's your game head into the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner do you think i should plow up this area up here chop the trees down plow up some of it well this this end here not the whole thing we're definitely not going to work our way along the entire area up here but do some of it up there on the plateau and then have it as farmable land yes or no um, we want to head back a minute. If we, I'll tell you what, we will just park this one here a second. And we'll go on here like this and we'll go over to the big bud. Start this bad boy up. Now, where is, is that done on, yeah, that's actually done there. That's all done. But I need to come down this end because it's done that whole bit where it turns around early. Which is most inconvenient. So we'll come down here. I think it's because of that tree there. I reckon that is the reason it does it, because that tree over there, it stops it. If it was to, like, turn around earlier than that, uh, later than that, it would get hung up on the tree on the return journey. I don't know. It might be, it might not be. So let's just go to here, and then we'll press H, and we'll let that bit go through. Going to finish doing the beans there. Then we're going to move, and I'm thinking that we'll probably actually go over to field one, and we'll do the small field over there. Then we'll move up, and we'll do the big field five, I think it is, above field two. Is it field five? Yeah, I don't actually know. No, field six. We'll go over and do that one, and then we'll do field six there, and then we've got five and four to finish off. And uh, let me just... I'll turn this around myself. So we get this one done here. We've also got this bit down here to plough, but no, today our main task is to go up and get the rest of the wood chips moved. And then once we've done the rest of the wood chips, we need to do a little bit of ploughing as well. We want to get that ploughing job up there finished as soon as we can, so that we've got our new field all done, all finished, and we can get started on our next project, 
I want to do some plowing down here, but I'm not quite sure when we're going to do that. So that we've got more land for grass for the cows. Uh, we, we, well, we certainly won't be able to start that this week. I don't know when we'd be able to start that, but we, we'll do it at some point. Now, what would be the best? I don't think I can get through there. with the, I'm going to keep the seed drill open. I'm not going to fold it back up again. So I think we need to go up around the top end. I don't think we'd fit through the bottom bit down there. I'm going to do a couple of passes along the bottom end of field one. Just manually do that. And then we'll let the hired help go on and finish off that job. And then we can worry about what else we're going to do. We will most likely at some point join some of these fields together. If you take a look, field six, five and four, we could join those into one big field. I won't join any others onto it because that would sort of be a square field that we could do there. Then seven and eight could join together quite nicely as well. And there's another big field then that we've got. And beyond that, I don't really know. I quite like having the sugarcane here on this field. It seems to work well having sugarcane on this field here. And we've done... We, we have done one sugarcane harvest. I'm trying to think about the best way that we could do this. Because the sugarcane, we devoted a lot of time and energy to doing that last time round. And I don't want to spend too long just focusing on the sugarcane. We want to do a whole load of other tasks as well. So I do want to do sugarcane. I do want to do another harvest. But I'm just not quite sure how the best way to do it will be. Well, we'll sort of wait and see until the rest of it's ready. We've got the half of the field there that needs to be done. I'm not very good at reversing these articulated machines. I always tend to oversteer a bit. Right. If I drop that down there, and we'll do one pass along here. And then once we've done that, I will come back over to this corner, and we will go up there. So I, I want to do just one pass. I want to start on this side, so that we don't get in the way of that John Deere. And it's absolutely awesome seeing the hired help come down and like doing the unloading itself i really really hope there are functions similar to that in fs19 we've had a screenshot so far it's about it it's one teaser screenshot but it's a huge black sleek combine it's a fent as well as a fent combine black beautiful and sleek it looked wonderful it really did the lighting and everything else, it really did look amazing. It genuinely looked amazing. And it was a proper in-game screenshot as well. It wasn't a CGI thing. It was just an in-game screenshot. And if that is any indication of what the rest of the game is going to be like, I think we are in for a treat. An absolute treat, ladies and gentlemen. I am really looking forward to getting my hands on that game. It's going to be a little while. It is going to be a little while. We have got several months between now and... Normally, it's in October. Sometime in October is the release date. So, we're going to have to wait until then. We're going to have to wait until the sometime in October before we're finally able to get our greedy little paws on it. But we will. We will definitely have it. It will eventually get here and we will have Farming Simulator 19 laid out in front of us in all its glory. Ready for us to just make the most of, take advantage of and just really get stuck in. I'm not quite there. There's going to be three maps. We know that this map here is going to be one of the maps that will be released with the game. When it first comes out, this map right here is going to be one of the ones that will be released. Beyond that, I don't know. We don't know what the other two... So it's likely that the other two maps are going to be two new maps. So we're going to have two brand new maps to go with the game. Um, so most likely i would start doing it well i'll probably start doing a series on one of them we'll take a look around the three maps and then we'll decide which one we think is the best most likely i will go on my personal preference on it and then i will start a big long series on one of those maps i don't know i'm what i might do is i might start a let's play series on a map that i think would be most suited to a let's play and then i will also start a time lapse series because obviously i will still be doing the time lapse um, and I'll start a time lapse on a different map to what I'm doing the Let's Play on. Because this time, back in the beginning of FS17, I did a Let's Play and a time lapse both on Goldcrest. And I'm quite looking forward to the fact that I'll be able to do this on separate maps. I think that will, I think it will work a lot better. It'll be a lot more enjoyable for everybody involved. We won't be doing any repetitive stuff. We won't be constantly seeing the same areas. So, yeah, it, it's all going to be good. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful stuff. So let's just go. I want to go up to here. Uh, if I jump out... We want to get these wood chips loaded up as our next task. We need to get these loaded up as fast as we can. So let me just start that bad boy up there. And we'll start working our way through it. I got a little bit of wood chips right behind me over there. 
I'm just going to grab those a second. A little tiny bit right there. It's actually a couple of them. There's, there's one bit there and there's one bit over there. Just from tree stumps. I won't worry about it too much. Um, there is a load of wood chips on the road to the south from us. Just up there. And we're going to do something about that. What I'll probably do is I'll get a cultivator and I'll just run it along the road. And yes, I mean, I know that we wouldn't normally run a cultivator along a road. It's not something you would do, but it's the cultivator does actually get rid of the wood chips. Uh, it's probably the best way to do it. It'd probably be the quickest, cleanest, and easiest way to just get rid of those little piles of wood chips so they're not going to be in our way and bumping the machinery around, that sort of thing. It'll make life a lot easier. So we'll just bring that through there like that. And I might actually have to stop and go around the other side in order to get the other trailer properly filling. I might. Helper C is blocked by an object. Okay, who is Helper C? Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's because of the course play over here. But, course play is on his move. He's, he's on the move, which means that Helper C is now able to go and do what he needs to do. Because there's Helper C. Uh, right, okay. Problem solved. Crisis averted. Let's go back to you. There we go. And keep going. So we just want to fill up the wood chips i we may get all of this into these two traders if we don't it's certainly not going to be another completely full load this is about it so we're finally finished on the wood chips up here now if we do the stuff on the plateau i've been saying that we'll do like whole logs now we this lot here we completely shredded everything we turned all of the logs into wood chips every single one of them which we it did take quite a bit of doing it was it was a long job up here we, we did spend quite a long time working on this we did eventually get it done though it all got done we had in the end we got there um but what i'm thinking is that we will do some of it if we if we do do the plateau we would go up there and some of it will be done as uh logs and some of it will be done as wood chips quite possibly we will actually not um not keep some of it some some of the trees we quite possibly will just shred up and just like uh, say that we've mixed them into the ground and we haven't done anything else with them um obviously as far as the game itself is concerned it would just be we were just like chucking them away um i'm prepared i'm quite happy to do that because of the amount of time it takes to actually keep and sell all the stuff it's going to be so much faster if we just like burn our way through them um throwing the wood chips away and then we can get on with the next bit i mean the actual point of going up there is not to get the load of trees and everything like we've done here we we've looked at the forestry stuff we really have um the whole point of going up there and doing it would be entirely for farming on that plateau if that's what you want me to do so i would do it as quickly as possible i, I just thought i'd better just like clarify this because otherwise a lot of you are going to be thinking oh hang on a minute we're going to be spending ages doing load more forestry work we've just done that um really we want something different but no i would go through it as quickly as i possibly could we'll take a look at the train because we haven't done that bit yet but for as far as the rest of it's concerned a lot of that wood chips up there it would literally just be um shredded up and we wouldn't e we wouldn't even be making piles of wood chips we use the big wood chipper and the oh what's it called i can't just remember the, the big daddy thing the big daddy wood chipper we use that one but we won't empty it out onto the ground or anything we would just it would basically the trees would just kind of vanish into thin air so we won't have to cope with any wood chips going down anywhere we won't have to load them up we won't have to sell them and it's going to save us a huge amount of time the, the actual point of that up there would be working rough ground and you know trying to see what we could do with it because it, it's it's it is very rough and uneven ground up there there's nothing up there that would be easy to farm we wouldn't be able to use the big machinery because it just wouldn't allow us to that is not something we'd be able to do and i feel that could be quite interesting right helper c has completed their task already he is done He's very efficient is helper c he's absolutely wonderful chap uh, we just go around here what we want to do is i just want to get those two little bits there that he's missed um obviously wasn't concentrating properly but if we just grab those two little bits it won't take very long and there we go job done right now we will go up here and it's field six we will start we're going to do this one sideways we're going to go side to side on this one all the way across and that will work its way up to the top and then we've got the two little fields off to the side we'll get those two done and that's it the beans are all planted and then we've got the big field down to the south that one i'm going to do with barley 
And in these here, we got to do row crop up in here. And I don't remember what we did the row crop with last time. I'm sure we got a row crop planter park parked up down there somewhere. It's just we're, we're going to take a look a second. Uh, if I start there, let you go. And right, he's doing absolutely fine. So now I want to go not to that one and not to that one. I want to just drop down here a second. And I want to have a look. I can't remember what seed drill we used to plant the corn last time around. Oh, I remember now. We've got a couple of the Vadastad ones, haven't we? Is it is it Vadas, Vadastad? Uh, Vadastad? I can't remember. I can't remember the exact pronunciation. No, we haven't got a couple. we got one. We have one of these here, these row crop planters. So we'll be able to use... Be able to? Yeah, I'm thinking that we should actually get that one going. Uh, have we got seed in it? Oh no, I've got to... Right, in order to get that one to work, I've got to do cultivating. I've got to cultivate everything up. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, let's bring the star back. By the time the other seed drill is done, we'll, we'll be well away. So we want to go on to this one, and we'll bring this one in round. We go flying up to the field, and we need to start cultivating. We're going to have to cultivate all of those fields so that we can get the, um, the corn planted, the maize planted up there, because... You can't use that seed drill as a direct drill. It's not a direct drill. We've got to have everything cultivated first. Slight inconvenience. It does slow things down just a fraction. Now, this field here, we actually cultivated half of it because we lost half of the crops on this field uh, some time ago now. It was quite a while ago. I'm hoping that we don't have that happen too often, but uh, many of you... I did say what was your opinion of the, um, the, the random events, you know... In, did you like them? Did you want me to keep doing them? And a lot of you did say that you, you really do like the random events that we're doing. And you like the fact that I've got them in here and it's something that you want me to keep running. You don't want me getting rid of those at all. Because they, they really do help to increase the variety of the series. And it also adds this big element of uncertainty. You're never quite sure what's going to happen. We've got all these plans, and we've got these massive great big fields, but like, I got the big field down there. I could, after we've planted it, we could have uh, something horrible happen, and we lose half the crop in the field. Because if we lose half the crop, this is the problem we're joining a, with us joining fields together. Some of our random events are a random field loses half of the crop. You know, we, we, basically we get like a disease hit the field, and so we have to cultivate up half of the field in order to represent the loss that we've taken or not use any fertilizer or something like that but you know the, the cultivating half the field if we've got bigger fields and we've got a lot more land um yep yeah, well i say a lot more land um the bigger fields with more land per field so more acres per field means that if we do get one of those and we happen to get one of our big fields is the one that gets targeted we lose an awful lot of crops. You no, know, sticking with the small fields means that the the potential losses are actually quite small. You get disease in one of the fields and the potential losses are quite small. If we don't do that, then it, it changes things up very, very drastically. It really does change things up. And oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Uh, one of my weekly questions was about a random event was whether it was a um, an entire crop or whether we lost just like some crop or whether we lost oh it's fertilizer it was the fertilizer issue whether we use fertilizer or not um, one of them had to have no fertilizer on it and you said that you I think you said you want me to do one random field and I haven't actually I've... what we'll do is we will plant the fields as they are um, I can't believe I completely forgot about that. This is, this is the problem. I do forget sometimes the, the responses for the, the different events. And feel free to point it out. Just make sure that you keep me on track because I have a head like a sieve. So I, I frequently forget things when I'm not supposed to. And this this is not a good way to be. We, we really should pay more attention. I, sh I should pay more attention. Um, but anyway, I have done this so what i'm going to do is i will plant everything as normal because in order to get the hired help to work with that star australia i need to have the fertilizer in there now i did have the proceed mod previously uh this was quite a while ago but i was having no end of trouble with it which is why i got rid of it um which would allow you to run the hired help without having uh, fertilizer in the drill um but because of all the issues i had that 
and it all stemmed, it all came down to that mod, so I got rid of it. So I don't really have, I don't have an option for doing it, so what I'll do is we'll just plant everything, and then we're going to have to do a random roll on the field, and decide which one it is that doesn't get any fertiliser, because I'm 90% certain you all said you only wanted one field to have no fertiliser on it. It had to be one field. It wasn't um, a whole crop. It wasn't all of them. It was one field. So I will we will, I will try to remember to do that next week. Make sure you remind me in the comment section. And if those of you who actually know and remember properly, then make, make sure that you do tell me which was the actual case that we had to deal with. Um, what was the, the numbers we were looking at? Because I, I, I can't for the life of me remember now. Which is really, really bad. Because it's my show. I should I should know what I've said. I should know what I've been doing here. So it, it is kind of bad, really. Um, well, more than kind of bad. Right, we've got... Actually, the combine has now finished. So it, are you course playing all the way over? No, you're not, are you? You're not course playing over. You're staying exactly where you are, which is... Right, what I will do... Why is that left strips up here? It's not left strips. Oh, it's because of the way that it's had to turn. Just on this bit here. Because he's had to turn, he's not had quite as much room to turn. I reckon that's probably what's done it. So if I just combine this little bit off of here, that's it then. We're done. The combining has finished. I was going to return it up here, but uh, then I remembered this header is actually ours, so we're going to have to drive this all the way back to the farm. We'll run this one over here and just unload. If I unload this one in here just like that, and it's all done. Does the tractor go and empty out one final time? Not quite sure. I know it, I'm, well, I say I know, I'm, I think that if I send it off now to go to the, like, just go and empty out, say drive course, I don't know if it actually drives the course and empties out the trailer, or if it just kind of drives the course and brings it back, because it previously did it, when it, it sort of started out, it didn't drive the full course. It stopped where it was. Right, so if I go on here and then we go to that. Right, at the moment it says drive now and it's saying stop at last point when next trigger deactivated. Covers are automatic. If I go there, do I, if I turn that one off, I don't know, I'm gonna, I, let's try stop driver a minute and then go drive course. What's it going to do? Waiting until fill level is reached. Right, okay, so if I stop driver again, and then I go into here, and I go find combine automatic search, and then I go back here, and I go drive course, waiting until fill. Seriously? Oh, I, th I think I can just go drive now. There. That will force it to drive the course. Right, I'll leave that one going, and I'll jump into the combine and get out of its way. Hopefully that one will go, and it will drive the course. That one, will yeah, so we let that one drive the course, and then this combine over here I need to actually I need to fold everything up so let's just uh, bring that back and lower it right down like that so it's nice and tight and then I can fold the combine up doesn't really matter about folding the combine up because the combine is being returned this is it for the combine it's all game over we don't even need to wash it we don't even need to hose the thing off because we're finished and there we go oh no it's, I thought that they were going to both just stop there and look at each other for a while but no they haven't they both carried on their way on, carried on their merry. Um, look at all that corn. Look at all that, all those beans. Can we do this? Should I? No, it's, I, I, I don't think it's. I got to. I've, I've thought about it now. I've actually thought about whether or not I should do it, and that means that I now have to do it. I have to do this. I have to come round, and I have to just grab this little bit, and mainly because I want to find out how much is here. I'm not going to bother unfolding the header properly. We'll just come up through here. How many litres of beans would I have wasted if I hadn't bothered just grabbing this little bit here? Through there. That tractor is going to come all the way back up to the field, isn't it, when it's finished? I don't suppose that doesn't actually really matter very much. We've done that. There we go. Switch that one off. 28 litres of beans. That is um, probably not going to make very much difference to us. Now that we've got that... 28 litres of beans, you know, all of those beans, and the masses and ma tons of beans in this combine. We'll have to drive this one all the way back and dump those beans out into the silo. We won't bother, we, we don't need to worry about tipping them into the trailer. We'll tip them out into the silo. He goes some speed down around there, doesn't he? You know, we haven't actually sort of followed him very much. Let's go. Let's go and have a ride. There we go. How fast? I was, I was saying him is actually a hurt. I do apologise. 
come whizzing in round there. Is she going to tip out down this way? You're going to stop and tip. Tip trigger reached. Go slowly up over. Previously, she didn't tip out. Or it may have been him last time. Stop. Oh, he's going to tip this time. There we go. There we go. Tip it all out. And... Right, it's going to start driving back up into the field now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there. And in just a moment, I'm going to click on Stop Driver. It's my cunning plan. Is to stop the driver at the most convenient spot for us. And then we've just got to nudge it forward. Stop Driver. There we go. Nudge it forward just a little bit. In round there. They do put the actual speed limit way down when they're driving around. But that's fine. We don't mind that. And we park it up there. Job done. Look at that. Beautiful. So there is the harvest all finished. That one's going. That one's doing well. Uh, the big bud is nearly finished this field up here as well. This thing is phenomenal. I'm so pleased we've got this one. This is absolutely... And I am very pleased that we got the big bud. I am absolutely delighted that we got the big bud rather than anything else working on it. I really am thrilled with that. I think it is brilliant. It's the perfect addition to the map. Having the challenger down here would look really cool and everything, but I just think, I just feel that the big bud fits the whole theme that we've got going on a bit better. I think it, it just works better for me. Um, I don't know about the rest of you, but for me personally, I, th I think that's what we need. I think that's what definitely what we needed to just kind of make our transition from mid-size up to the really big boys toys. Now, let me just start that one up and we'll move forward a little bit. Only a little bit. We don't need to go very far. Put that there and we can just get the very last of the wood chips. And then we got another job done. That would be two jobs completed today. That's all of the harvest done and all of these wood chips finished as well. We're doing pretty well, I think. I think that we've got good reason to pat ourselves on the back. We've, we have done an awful lot. We've accomplished a great deal. We've done all this. We're going to do a little bit of um, plowing as well definitely got to go and do a little bit of plowing so that is now finished stop that one and lift it up it's gonna move this one off to the side over here a minute I know this field here isn't ours so I won't actually drive on it I would like to buy that field at some point we won't buy it just now though so we come back over here we got one final race down to the sawmill and that's it for a little while at least well certainly for the wood chips at least I don't know if we're going to be getting more stuff later on we may be doing a few more wood chips but like i said if we're working up on the plateau most of the wood chips up there i'm just going to scatter to the four winds and we're not going to worry about them but the the bit down there we've got a few trees down over there around that field there that we were talking about possibly expanding that field as well later on those i'll probably bring over here to the sawmill we'll we'll, we'll turn them into wood chips and bring them over here um i'd say that would be worthwhile I mean, maybe we could do one load off the plateau of, um, well, we're going to do some logs. We're definitely doing some logs onto the train. If This is if we do it. We, you, you, may, you may decide that you don't want me to do it, in which case we'll work on something else. Um, I, I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of work here close to the sawmill, actually, so we could play with the train over this side instead. Not quite sure yet, though. Um, but we could always, if we don't do that up on the plateau, we can find another reason to take this truck up on top of that plateau and do something with it up there so if we if we if the vote is looking strongly like it's against me doing the work up on the plateau i would like some suggestions from you today of something that we can do with this truck here um out on top of that plateau i really think that we should be looking for something to do with it up there because it would just be very very cool it would be it would be absolutely brilliant to be able to do something with it up there so we we'll just bring that one there and then oh, no, i want to go forward and get the next trailer. Let's bring that one in. Try and look at it from this angle just because I can. There we go. And we tip that one up as well. And that's it. The wood chips are finished. We have completely done all of the wood chips on our field up at the top. It is finished. I need to bring a load all or something up and scrape those wood chips there up into place at some point soon. We, we will do that. That's on my to-do list, but I'm not going to worry about it today. I'm actually just going to park this one here for now. Stop that one right there. So that I can finish up today's episode with a little bit of work over here. Now, that one is going well and that one is going well. Hopefully, they won't tangle up. No, what I want to do is I want to go to this one right here. We've got work that needs to be done later on with the skid steer. We're not going to worry about that right now either. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and I need to go around the edge of the field here. So we want to go this way. I'm actually going to have to, um, to flip the plow over so that we can come along this edge and just widen this piece here. We need to go around the field. I want to do a bit more plowing. We're going to have to start doing a bit of plowing each day. So hopefully next week we will completely do this plowing job. We've got to manually do the bits around the edges. And then once we've done that with the actual fields themselves, that will get done with the cultivator that's working over there. We don't need to do the plowing with this one at all. Uh, we'll be able to do everything with the cultivator. So let me just lower that. I need to allow create fields. Lower that bad boy down there like that. And we are away. Look at that. Wonderful. We are going to have to do one more pass up here because there's, there's a slight sort of... It's not quite getting all of the border of the field. It does look a little bit like it, but there's going to be little tiny bits that will be left. So we will do once more around just to make sure that we get that properly. I am about to turn the corner sharp with the plough. If you don't like the thought of that, please look away now. Keep looking away. Keep looking away. Keep looking away. Okay, you can look now. That's, that's, that's fairly straight. It's just kind of lining itself back up again. Um, yeah, and, and if you did look away, then obviously I, I got to the end. I got to that corner and I lifted the plough up out of the ground and I manoeuvred round and then I carried on again. Um, but I did it really, really quickly, which is how we're able to make so much forward progress. Um, yeah, so now, now everybody should be happy. Everybody should be happy. There, there should be no problems, no complaints, no, no nothings. And we'll take this one out. We do have to now, we've got to just mark out one new bit of the land down here which is the bit that we can't, we went up round, if you remember, where we have this big pile of wood chips. So we'll need to bring this one in and just mark out the final part of our field that we've got down here. I'm really looking forward to actually being able to work this field properly. Once we, we get some machines up in here and we do some planting and stuff, we are, what are we doing? We're doing maize in here first. Actually, the second big field that we've created and we're doing maize as the first crop in it again. I don't know if this is going to be something that we will continue to do. Maybe it will. Actually, I think that could be like a thing. Actually, uh, well, I say that, but now I'm sort of thinking about it. I'm thinking it probably wouldn't actually work out very well. Um, let's not worry about it. Let's, let's, not, um, let's not get hung up on little details like that. So I'll bring this one over. Once we get down to the end here, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to flip it over, and then we're going to go back up round. And that should be enough to do the two sides of the field that we wanted to do. I'm... Gonna need to keep going a little bit just so that I can keep that reasonably straight along that edge. It's not going to be perfectly straight, we know that. But I would like it reasonably straight. Bring that over. And there we go. Right. Uh, lift it up. Like that. And then flip it over. And then we can come back over this side and we can do another pass here. So that's going to be a double pass here and three times on most of the rest of it. I think most of it will be all right. We just need enough space so that we can turn the plough at the end of the fields. Uh, at, the, at the end of the runs, I should say. Probably we want one more pass along this bottom. Well, actually, I don't think this bottom end is going to matter because we'll do this one sideways. And there's not that many trees that we've got to do around here either. So it should all be fairly straightforward, I would think. Um, next week, we will start doing some work with the seed drill we've got the cultivator going at the moment we might actually go and get a second cultivator running because i think the seed drill works faster than the cultivator i don't actually remember though we we will get the seed drill started because we'll have a field at least done by that point so we can get the seed drill started and we'll see how quickly the maize can get planted the big bud well the little bud will have finished doing those bits over there that it's well the, the three fields it's working on at the moment by probably the f end of the first episode next week we'll have finished doing those fields so we'll be able to move over into the huge great big field which is the one we're going to plant with well, I'm thinking barley but obviously in the comment section today m let me know what crop you'd like me to plant down in the great big field if you think it should be something other than barley that's what I want to know I'm most likely going to do barley if you've got a reason for me planting something different then give me a reasoned argument don't just shout a crop out um, I want to know your reasons for me planting another crop because I, I, I like the idea of planting a load of barley. It's a beautiful soft straw and so you can make a nice bit of money from the straw and um, it's also easy to work with and it's fairly easy to combine as well whereas um, wheat can be a bit more difficult but it's harder on the combine. Um, so I, 
if you want me to plant something different, I can, but I'm going to need an argument. I'm going to need a reason. I'm going to want you, I need you to give me a reasoned argument as to why I should be planting something other than barley. Now, some of you will already know this because you've been watching my channel for a very long time. Some of you have not watched my channel for quite as much. So this is for those of you who are new here. I like a debate, okay? I like a, dis I like a healthy discussion. I don't like screaming matches. I don't like insults being flung left, right and centre. But I do like a debate. I like a reasoned argument. And I am more than happy, I am quite happy to change my mind if you can come up with good reasons for me to do so. And I'm, I'm always, always open to debate and argument and discussion so long as it doesn't start to get rude, obnoxious and just generally unpleasant. There is no need for an argument to be unpleasant. There is no need for a discussion, a debate to be unpleasant. You can have a debate and have completely opposing views and keep it civil and keep the discussion going and it can be a lot of fun. And it's always, and it's always fun because I, so long as you've got reasons behind what you think, what you believe, what you want, what you what you think we should be doing, I'm I'm quite happy to look at those reasons and consider them. I may not necessarily do it, but if you just shout something out, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm less likely to look at it. If you just say, right, that field should be planted with canola. Okay, but why? What's, what's your reasons? If you give me a good solid, you know, couple of bullet points, we should do it because of this and because of this, well then I'll look at that and I'll think, well actually, that is a fair point, so maybe we should do that. Um, so yeah, I, I absolutely will change my mind and I will adjust what, I might, what my plans are based on suggestions from people who watch and you comment in the comment section, so um, by all means. Get into the comments section and influence the videos. Tell me what you want. Have your say and actually change change the plans. Change what is going to happen. So at the, oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to lift that one up. There we go. So my plan at the moment is to do barley down there. But if I get a decent reasoned argument as to why I shouldn't do barley and I should do another crop, then I will do a different crop. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know if anybody has got the power to persuade me to change my mind. Throwing down the gauntlet here, ladies and gentlemen absolutely throwing down the gauntlet is anyone going to take it up that's what i want to know is anyone watching have what it takes to change my mind the challenge for you i don't know why I'm, I'm i'm feeling a bit argumentative today that's why i'm i'm in, I'm in the mood for a, a good solid debate about something i don't really i don't care what um I, but it, it it's it's highly entertaining it is good fun something that i used to do and i've, I've done this with um friends over the years is if we talk about something and it's usually it's, it's it can be more interesting if you do this over a sensitive subject but you need to have friends who are open-minded and able to deal with talking about sensitive subjects um it, it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be what you do is you have a debate you, you you talk for 10 minutes trying to persuade the other person to change their mind through your reasoned arguments but then in order to really like practice the ability to debate and the, the ability to present your arguments and present them in such a way as to be um, convincing, what you then have to do is you then have to spend 10 minutes taking the other person's view. You have to, you, you basically, you swap over. You spend 10 minutes arguing your points and then you spend 10 minutes arguing the other person's points and see who can come up with the most convincing arguments on the subject. It's, it can, it's difficult to do the sort of the flip-flop thing, but it is quite entertaining. It's, it can be a lot of fun. So if you like to have any kind of discussion, any kind of debate, if people have accused you of being the argumentative type, try this. It's lots of fun, right? And it really does hone your skills at arguing more than anything else you will ever find. It's absolutely wonderful. You can go, you do this. If, if you can do it, and you, if you can do it well, you can argue for hours and hours and hours about anything. And then it, you can go along... You can argue for days about something with someone and then you can immediately switch over and you can start arguing the complete opposite with somebody else and it's still just as much fun. Um, but yeah, it does depend if you actually like the whole arguing thing because I know a lot of people don't actually like to have an argument, a debate. Um, but for those of you who do, I, I strongly recommend it. Anyway, 
we've kind of run out of time for today. We don't have a great deal left. We've got this bit here. We've got a bit around that field there, and we've got a section up the top, which I'm hoping that we will finish most of in our first episode next week. We get most of it done in the first episode next week. We've got to do a little bit of running around with the, um, the skid steer as well. The Big Bud 450 has now finished, so we will move that one. I'll move that one over in the next episode. The question for this week is, do you want me to plow up some of the land at the top of the plateau? It's going to be the area just above the, um, the train station over there so that uh, we can take a few logs down the hill to the train and we can use the crane to load them up onto the train and we can just sort of have a little go with it like that. We won't be doing very much of it. Actually, now that I think about it, does the train actually have a log carrier on it? I think it does, but I'm, I'm thinking about this now, and I'm not actually sure if it does. Uh, yes, it does. The very last one. So it does have a log carrier on it. Um, so, yeah, we, we can do that. And the combine... I need to move that combine. We need to do something with that. We will. It's on my to-do list. Right now, we're doing this. Uh, what am I doing? I need to be turning around that way. That's what I need to be doing. We want to come back over here. So, yes, do you want me to plough up a little bit of the plateau at the top, chop the trees down, plough up the plateau and turn it into some farmable land. It will not be all of it, it will be a piece down one end of it. We're not going to be spending weeks and weeks and weeks doing the whole thing, it is just going to take too long. Um, but we can do a little bit down one end of it just for something interesting. Um, I don't know if you think that we should be doing that or if you think we should be focusing our attention elsewhere. So it's your vote, it's your game. Head into the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. We've just got a little bit more... Yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to take us any more than another episode to actually finish this. We will have all the ploughing done, we can have all the stumps ground out, we will have loads and loads of it done. It's, it's going to be wonderful, it's going to be really really easy and quick and fast and efficient and everything else that we could ever hope for. Um, it, it's going to be amazing. Right, let me just start up through there. I'm actually going to have it slightly crooked on the end, which is not brilliant, but we'll live with it. It's fine. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.